Hey guys, today we're going to play with the post balance Bile. He is now the only monster that can put anti-cleanse with the third skill. Meaning Vela Jewel cannot cleanse the sleep from your CC monster like Hathor or Astubel, except the dodge that this skill is gonna put is gonna wake them up anyway. So yeah, this guy is only good with Savannah or Okeanos. This is how I run my Bile on Despair, Crit Damage, Energy. What do you guys think? I think he might be better on Swift Crit Damage though. No? Let's see how much damage we can actually diss with the third skill of Bile. I'm not even sure if I even bring Bile into this match. Like what is he going to bring to the table, seriously? Oh here's an idea. Let's make her cannot cleanse. I cannot even land it! <laughs> wow this is so tilting! Hmm, what to do? I can't even land the crucial thing. See, this is what I wanna do, guys. I wanna put- Whoa! <laughs> I can't land anything! I wanna put the uncleansable on her, and then I put the bomb and stun her. That way, the front cannot cleanse, but we can't even- <laughs> I think we're going to lose all our mats with Bile. <laughs> I'm scared of the Antares though, cause my Bile is not on wheel, so if he gets stunned by the Antares, <laughs> GG. Actually, let's hope the Antares does not proc at all. Okay, now the strip on Gemini might fail. <laughs> this might fail guys. Come on! Nice, we got it on the one that matters. Oh, what to do, what to do. I think we reset the Josephine. So when I bomb the Antares, it's not going to do her shenanigans. And we proc. Let's just ventilate the Gemini, so Gemini can strip again next time. We do this to the Antares, so the front cannot cleanse, right? Nice. Now I'm going to put- Oh, he moved first. <laughs> My Ciara is too slow. <laughs> ah, dang it. Ah, oh, feels bad. Dang you, Sierra. You need more speed. We... Let's just do this for now. That's an Antares, right? It should be squeezy. No, no, no. Okay, the front cannot cleanse the defense break, as you can see. Are you sure about that? This is bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we lost. I don't think I can make Bile work, because I don't have any CC monster like Savannah or Okeanos that actually goes well with the Bile. If I go Bile, then I have no synergy in my team. This is what happens. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I should get first turn with my Chibu. My Chibu is on Swift and very fast. Now let's see how Bile is gonna perform. He's on crit damage, so I hope he's going to deal a lot of damage with the defense break there. Yeah, I'm going to kill Hathor. Oh, actually, wait, wait. I think the Okean, nah, the Hathor is looking squishier than the Okeanos. So we reset the Hathor. We kill the Okeanos. If I use this skill, I'm going to get a turn before them, right? Nope. There we go. We got a tech bar. Oh, but this this girl though. This girl. <laughs> he countered and now he might stun my Bile. Oh, can. Can we kill her with this though? Kill? Nice. <laughs> we put even more debuffs on her. Taku, you can be such idiot sometime. Please don't stun. Please don't stun. Nice. Okay, uh... I don't wanna reset him just yet. Let's just wait until next turn. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Not bad, that's a lot of damage and the dots actually killed a lot of people right there. <laughs> this guy proc though and he killed my bile, I'm so tilted. Okay, he should be more tilted because I just put two turns slip on him. Uh, if this doesn't kill, I'm in trouble guys. Phew. I want her to continue slumbering, so we just ventilate. Mm -hmm. And now we move on to finish her off. But dang, the damage from Bile should not be underestimated. And the dots hurts a lot too. 
Except I prefer that he does not put dots. So you can make him work with uh, CC unit like Hathor or Asubel. What do you guys think? You agree with me, right? So as you can see, my team is now first turn oriented. We wanna get first turn. I have so many speed lead right here. I have Ciara for the speed lead. I have Tiwu for the speed lead. I have Vanessa for the speed lead. Yes, we are going to get first turn. In order to pull this off, I need a lot of CC and also need some nukers. Since I don't have Barbara or Savana, which is really meta right now, I'm going to use Depnis. And yes, I'm probably going to use Mina instead of Barbara. Yeah, let's move her inside. Mina, Mina, Mina. There we go. Now I should be able to one shot Squeezy the way Barbara should, right? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> this is it. I'm going to slap all my pay to win rune into this first turn comp. For example, my fastest swift set, I'm going to give it to my Tiwu. And then I'm going to give my Ciara quite a speedy, violent uh, wheel set. My Daphne is also very speedy, as you can see. And my Fran is going to be on my fastest support, violent wheel. Oh, it's missing something. <laughs> What? I have not been farming artifacts. I'm not as diligent as you guys. Okay, okay. Let's just see how this team can win against G2 Genihator. Going second has really been hard for me since Aranis is easily countered by Sekhmet and also Okeanos. So I decide, screw it. I wanna get first turn 2 to counter Genihator. <laughs> so this is what I do. I just hate that when you wanna go first, it's all about rune quality. Whoever goes first is going to have the advantage over the other player. Look at that, this guy is G2 and since I'm also actually G2 in my rune, <laughs> not my monster but, but my rune is G2, I was faster than this guy and was able to one-shot his author with the Daphnis and the Ciara. Man, that was close though. I need to find artifact for my Ciara. The one with the bomb limit should suffice next time I wanna. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I slapped the front two turn in this match. There was. Actually, not huge, cause we silenced the front anyway, so that's not really going to matter, right, the slip. What mattered is that the Juno did not stun any of my unit. It would've been very bad if he had stunned, I mean she had stunned my deafness. And just like that, you can beat Genihator by going first, by having pay to win runes and by having pay to win monster. <laughs> uh, but what can we do guys, if I go second, I just get played by the set mat, I got reset and then it's 3v4, so how am I supposed to beat Genihator? So for this season, we're going to try to get first turn, let's see how far it will carry us. Thank you for watching guys, please like and subscribe and I'll see you again in our next video, bye bye!